everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We are outside in the garden. And behind me is the summer house, but don't look too closely because it's still not quite sorted. But I'm gonna carry on with that straight after this. I hope you can hear me all right because it is quite noisy in the garden. Um, maybe I'll have to do a voiceover. But this is my roundup of all of the makes from Tilly and the Button Stretch. Uh, as you can see, I have chosen to wear the Joni because I just love this dress and it's such a lovely day. And no tights for the first time this year. So um, yeah, uh, let me talk you through all of the makes. So first up in this book, I was really, really excited about two of the makes in particular, uh, the BB and the Freya and I really wanted to do the pinafore version of the BB and I really wanted to do the, the ruffle bib version of the Freya. So uh, those two completely were on my list for such a long time and the moment the book came I was like, yes, I'm gonna make these. But I decided to make all of the makes from the book because I learned so much from the first one that I thought I would do the same with the second book, go the whole way through, learn loads of new techniques and it did not disappoint at all. And in the end, I've ended up loving all of the garments and even the ones that I was least looking forward to like the Stella tracksuit I can't take off they are like my favorite garments by the way this dress does blow up a little so you might get a Marilyn moment um, but let me kind of talk you through it so the first thing in here is the BB and it is the BB pinafore is the version I went for like that and here she is in beautiful uh, Ponte Roma royal blue from girl charlie of course and all of the fabrics are from girl charlie you know that already i keep going on about it but they are amazing um i really really love this i really love the fact that um i added the yellow buttons because it was so me and i had to basically um i have slightly messed up the bib it is a bit skew with and the more i wear it the more i realize that uh yeah but what I'm gonna do is move that button in to kind of trick the eye a little bit and hopefully that will help. But she's a beauty, I love her. She took hardly any time to sew up. Um, she is so wearable. It's quite a smart make actually, but you can also dress her down with like a stripy top underneath. But I feel like if I did have an office job, I could wear something like that to it. So even though the BB is the first pattern in the book, and it is a beginner's pattern, very much so, there were still things that I'd never done before. So um, I hadn't ever sewn buttons on jersey, and that was kind of fun to kind of do for the first time. And I don't think I'd ever made jersey straps before. No, I hadn't. So um, that was kind of cool. You know learning some new techniques sorry this is twisted i'll sort that out in a minute um and yeah i haven't really used ponte roma that much either so it was quite a new kind of stable knit for me to use um and um just things like a panelled skirt was new for me so a lot of new stuff in this um that i've never made before in a stretch knit and then underneath her is the next one in the book the Frankie baseball shirt t-shirt um, yes so this is one that I was excited to have in my wardrobe because I felt like I needed it but I wasn't necessarily excited to sew it if you know what I mean um, but I'm so pleased that I have because it is a brilliant top it's an amazing scrap buster and it fits me really well and I made it up in the kind of contrasting fabrics which I really love so I've got the Ponte that I use for the Stella and then this lovely kind of cotton lycra that's really lightweight but works really well on this. And then bright yellow jersey sleeves. So yeah, they go really well together. Oh, there we go. There's the Marilyn moment. Um, and uh, I'm really, really happy. It's something that I will make a lot of because it is such a scrap buster. You need hardly any of like the little bits. So if you have hardly any jersey, then you can make just the bodice and then the sleeves out of something else or even just the neck band because you need nothing for the neck band. So yeah, it's really good. I love how these go together and also um, the top goes really well with the Stella joggers as well. So yeah, that's brilliant. The Frankie is kind of quite close to things I've made before. So I didn't learn anything per se, but it was fun to kind of, you know, play with different types of knit um and uh, and to see how well they go together and i'm really pleased to say that they do so well done frankie 
and BB. Love them. Uh, okay, next up, and this was the one that I was the most excited to make, and uh, I made it exactly like it's in the book. It's the Freya, the Freya dress. I mean, yeah, it's exactly the same. And I very rarely will make up a pattern in a very similar or the same fabric, but this was just too good not to do. Um, and the mustard French terry from Girl Charlie is the softest, loveliest fabric. <laughs> so it suited it so, so well. And uh, I love this dress so, so much. It really uh, it's just made me very, very happy, this whole, whole make. Um, and I learned a lot making this. This was a lot of new techniques. The ruffle was a completely new technique for me. I've never done anything like that before. And if you watch the vlog, you'll see that I did struggle with it. It did take me a lot of time, but I'm really pleased that I worked out all of the kinks to make it as close to so symmetrical as I could have. Um, a lot of people wrote some really helpful comments, including that I should make a pattern piece for it. And I'm totally going to do that for the next one because I want to make a top version of the Freya necks with the ruffle as well. Um, so I'm definitely going to do that. So thank you for that tip. Um, other than that, it's really simple construction. It really doesn't take very long. The ruffle took me the longest bit, but it probably shouldn't have. Um, and, uh, oh, sorry, squeaky, squeaky mannequin. Other than that, it really was a super, super quick make. And I really love it. So, yay for the Freya! Okay, next up is the Stella. So, that one. So um, I did say before that it was the one that I kind of least felt was me in the book, but honestly, I cannot tell you how much I, these, I just love them. I wear them all the time. And if I'm like kind of done for the night, I, you know, I can kick back and watch some TV with my husband. I've taken my, my dog for the last walk of the day. Then these are the first thing. In fact, they're kind of the first thing I put on in the day as well, sometimes, if I'm just at home. I've worn these pretty much every day since I made them. They've just been in the wash, so um, I think they've had two washes since I made them, and that shows just how much wear I've got out of them. So, yeah, I mean, I love them. They're absolutely brilliant. So here's the hoodie with the contrasting hood, um, and underneath are the joggers, and both of them have contrasting cuffs, from Albstoff, and I know everyone wants Albstoff cuffs. Um, I know that they're sorting out their UK stockists, so the moment I know, I'll tell you, don't you worry. But yeah, they're amazing. And um, again, in this French Terry, they are the softest thing ever. And oh, I really, really love them. I'm so pleased I put in a pocket, in a kangaroo pocket. Sorry, have you seen how clever I'm being? I'm holding the book and the joggers. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased I put in the kangaroo pocket because it's great for like storing my phone in and I was doing some knitting earlier and I just put the wool in my pouch. <laughs> so I was a proper little kangaroo. Um, learned loads of things making this. I've never, I'm going to put the book down. Um, I've never put in a hood in anything jersey or otherwise. No, I have put a coat hood in. But yeah, I've never done a jersey hood, uh, never lined jersey before, never done buttonholes in jersey or added uh, jersey yarn, um, uh, never added cups, never added outside pockets. I've done pockets in seam, but I've never done pockets on top, like top stitch pockets with jersey. And all of them were so easy. They were all like doing woven. So I just learned so much making these and I learned that I love tracksuits. <laughs> so yay! Very, very happy with my Stella. And then the last make and the most recent vlog uh, 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 is the Joni. And yeah, I love it. I'm wearing it right now and I couldn't be happier with it. I couldn't be happier with the fabric choice for a start because I think you can do loads of different things with the Joanies and I've seen so many lovely versions, but I just think this is perfect on me. It's bright and colorful and playful and I love the quatrefoil. Um, I am really happy with my pattern matching. In fact, down the back 
um, I'm really happy with because uh, I'm not a great pattern matcher and sometimes I don't even bother but I'm pleased that I kind of did what I could here. I wish that that was a tiny bit closer to the middle so that the line was like but I think it it looks fine anyway I'm not going to um, worry about little things like that so yeah I mean Joni is full of new techniques it's got the twist which I've never done anything like before and is actually really really simple and I do talk you through it in my vlog if you want to um, watch that and find out how you do it and then there's also um, a concealed neck band that you kind of um, fold over and sew down top stitch down and that was again really simple to make as well I've spoken to a few people that have made the journey and struggled with that and actually don't worry about it at all it's it, like as long as you follow all the instructions right from the beginning and make sure you put the notches the extra notches in then you're going to be totally fine it was really easy peasy that bit um, and yeah I think the, the main thing that I'm really excited about making all of these is they coincided with the arrival of my Faf cover stitch machine and that has made all of the hems on these so smart. The fact that they're all um, overlocked on the wrong side and top stitched on the right side and they, they've really held together beautifully so everything is finished on the cover stitch so that was really really good timing for me. Um, I'm totally up for a cover stitch party if people want to come over and try it out because it is brilliant and you can just bring all of your knits and hem them. Oh, it's brilliant. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the main things I learned. But I'm so happy I did this because I consider myself to be not advanced, like a novice dressmaker now. And um, I think maybe a lot of people would say that this book is for beginners, which it is, and it's very beginner friendly, but you can totally take it on at any time in your sewing journey because you learn so much. And it's the kind of skills that you can totally use for other things as well. I mean, I love the fact that now I know how to do buttonholes in Jersey. It means that I can make, you know, like even a shirt dress in Jersey which might be unique but uh, I think that could be quite cool um, and I've made six items that I will really wear a lot none of this was a waste for me none of this felt like something that oh well I mean you know it looks good but I won't wear it I will wear all of these and a lot um, and I'm already kind of thinking is it too hot to wear my Freya? It is, but uh, apparently tomorrow's getting colder again, so she's probably gonna be worn tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've all enjoyed this journey with me and the stretch book. Um, thank you to everyone that's been watching and commenting. It's been really, really lovely doing this with you guys. And obviously thank you to Tilly. Thank you so much to girl Charlie for the gorgeous fabrics. Okay, I've got the dog just to say a quick goodbye because he's been missing. You've been missing in action, haven't you? What have you been doing? Sunbathing? Yeah, he's been doing a lot of sunbathing. So I will say goodbye to you with Hobbs. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're all having a lovely week, whatever you're up to. Happy sewing, happy making, and I will see you next week. Lots of love. Bye. Bye, Hobbs. Oh, you are heavy.